The wait is finally over. Crosstown rivals Hart and Canyon going head to head once again, but this time it'll be on Canyon's home court. The last time these two teams met, it was a very close contest. And on Tuesday night, the game was just as exciting and thrilling as the last one. The Indians came out ready to play. Elise Mitchell takes the first basket of the game and gives Hart the lead over Canyon. But the Cowboys came back with a response. With the assist from Jade Sims, Josie Riguez puts in the soft touch off the glass. At the end of the first, it was Vanessa Savala coming in clutch as she sinks the corner three for the buzzer beater and gives the Indians the lead going into the second quarter. Canyon trying to rally together, but Hart kept fighting. Zavala drains another three, but this time from the wing, extending the lead by 10. But it didn't take Canyon long after that to catch up. Aliyah Garcia finds Sims wide open for an easy bucket in the paint. The Cowboys will be trailing by two. At the half, both teams head to the lockers as Hart continues to lead by four going into the third. Coming out of halftime, Canyon trying to close the gap. Josie Vega still feeling herself, backs in to bank it in, and the Cowboys trail Hart by one. The Indians trying to keep the lead over the Cowboys, but it would be Catherine Garcia who puts up the floater to give Canyon the lead over Hart. Near the end of the fourth, Hart's Morgan Mack drives in to put in the difficult shot and evens the score with the Cowboys. Then Jade Sims trying to go for the buzzer beater, but couldn't put it in, pushing the game into overtime. With both teams trying to rally together, Hart came out strong. Laney Grinder finding Mack in the paint for a nice touch off the glass. But Canyon wouldn't be too far because Cody Booker drains that corner three and ties it up with Hart. And with only seconds left, Aaliyah Garcia sinks two at the line after a foul from Hart. Canyon wins with the final score, 54 to 52. While the victory is huge for Canyon, sometimes it's a little too early to celebrate with only just one game left. I think we really, we can't look past August. This was a really big win, but I think it all comes down to Friday. And if we can pull it out, then we get the league championship, no matter what, if it's shared, if it's our solo league championship. Friday is the probably one of the biggest games of the year so far. And then once we move on from that, we're totally focused on playoffs and getting as far as we can in CIF. As Canyon takes the victory, both them and Hart are given the task this Friday night to win their last conference game. Only time will tell on who will be the true victor of the Foothill League title. Reporting at Canyon High School, this is Kyle Kamoto for Canyon's News.